when I cut myself, I cut myself on my hand, on the side of my wrist, top of my legs, behind my hair, on my neck, and around the back of my ears. I picked places where people weren't going to see after everybody started asking about my hand. I was cutting myself to relieve the pain. When I was cutting myself, I was afraid that, that I might die if I was afraid of leaving the kids alone without a mom. I look at this picture. Who, who took this picture? Jamie takes pictures of me all the time to make fun of me. That picture, I did not do anything to myself. Um, I was walking out the door with that knife. He told me to make sure I cut this way, because that's the way you do it when you're going to commit suicide. That's the way to die. Mm -hmm. And that was the first day I cut myself. That was the first day. What do you think when you look at this picture? I don't like that picture. I never cut myself with the kids in the house either. I did it in the car. I even bought a black towel to clean it up. How thoughtful. The kids were 15 feet no, away in the living not room. Then. And this not picture, then. they were in their bedrooms 15 they were. feet away. And I hid the knife every and time. Every time they you heard out. a noise, you tried to hide the knife. Again, mm -hmm. how thoughtful. He told me to go kill myself, basically. Make sure you do it this way. Did you say that to her? I did. Yes, I did. How thoughtful. That's exactly my thought. I think you are in a lot of pain. And I want to help you. The story's hard. It's all right. Give your feelings a voice. That's what you're here to do. Just talk through the tears. It's okay. I told him I needed to come home, him to come home. I said I can't let the kids see me this way. He told me to put them in their rooms and go in the bedroom and rest. And I said, I said, they're already in my room watching TV. I'm going to go out to the car. He said he was two hours away. I sat in the car waiting for him for two hours. He knew. He knew. And the more I waited, the worse it got. The kids did not come out. It was behind my hair. I put a hoodie on when I went to check on them. I know it wasn't the best thing to do. I know. You're sitting in the car and you're lifting your hair up and putting a knife back there and cutting yourself. Was it this knife? No, that, that left a big scar. You have cut yourself here? Right here. After he did not come home and I dropped the kids off, I cut myself here. Why are you doing this? I don't know. It the well, no, sight you, of the you, blood. You know. what you the sight of the blood relieves it when, when you're crying for some reason. It just, I have no idea why I started it. I think I, think I started it because I think I'll show him. He's telling me, you know, go and cut yourself. So I did. Are you suicidal? Not at this moment. Have you been suicidal? Do you believe that you suffer from mental illness? But that day, that day, that exact day, he didn't call back. F Fifteen hours later, he came back after he was supposed to be there for two hours. And this is, this is what I got on the phone. I filed a restraining order. I filed for divorce. You need to get out mm -hmm. in that state of mind. That's what he did. Did you say, I'll be there in two hours? I did. I, I did lie to her and tell her I was on my way. And then you showed up 15 hours later? I, it did was you, the next morning or afternoon, yes. Did she, she call you and tell you she was in distress? Yes. And you said, I'll be there in two hours, and you didn't show up for 15. Did you call someone? Did you call 911? Did you call the sheriff? Did you call the ambulance? Did you call anyone? <clears throat> uh, no, I don't believe so. Did you not go home because you thought, if I don't, maybe she'll finish the job and I'll be done? She, the phone call she gave me is, is a carbon copy of a hundred other conversations we had. 